Welcome back. We're here to preview Sunday's Premier League match between Bournemouth and Tottenham Hotspur. Miles will start with Spurs sitting seventh after that 0 0 draw with Liverpool. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange one for Tottenham. Obviously, everything pre match was geared towards Jurgen Klopp's first game in charge of Liverpool, so they sort of snuck in under the radar for that one. I think if Brendan Rodgers was in charge, Tottenham at home, then they'd be considered favourites for that. But everyone expected Liverpool in their first game under Klopp to really be up for the game. In the end, it was a bit of an anti climax in terms of the actual match from a neutral point of view. 0 0 in the end, which. All things considered, I don't think Iverside would be too dissatisfied with Tottenham. Probably would have taken that. They might have been expecting a bigger fight from Liverpool with Klopp in charge. And Tottenham rode their luck at times. There was that Origi chance which hit the crossbar. But at the same time, they had chances themselves. Mignolet had to make two really good saves in particular. So both sides could have won that match. Share of the spills in the end, perhaps fair. You'd say if Iverside deserved to win, it was probably Tottenham. Um, so they might view that as maybe two points dropped at home against one of the rivals expected to push for a European spot along with them but all in all a nil-nil draw against Liverpool with Klopp first game in charge they'll be fairly happy with that I think yeah I think they can be fairly happy but I think when you look at the Liverpool starting lineup, the amount of key players they had out injured mm. I think for Spurs probably a bit of a missed opportunity there. I know it was Klopp's first game in charge and all the focus was there but I think for Spurs you know the chance they had Kane missed another one there and Obviously, like you said, Mignolet, was, he had that great save from Minji. But looking you know, back to the opening day of the season, that was when they lost their only game this season against Manchester United since then, unbeaten in eight. So they have you know, really, really stabilised since then. You know, it, was a, it was a tough way to start the season at United, a defeat there, but not, not lost a game in the league since then, you know, beating you know, beat Man City 4-1 at home. So they've had some really impressive results in there. And you know, defensively is where they've been you know, the best this season. You know, they've conceded the joint fewest goals with Arsenal, seven goals, you know, another clean sheet against Liverpool in that, in that last game. So it's been a decent start, but just not quite enough wins seventh in the table at the moment they're seven points off City three points off the top four so considering where they've been it's been an okay start but I think certainly the platform's there for them to push up towards the top six now and yeah I mean unbeaten in eight you can't really complain with that it's been a very, pretty solid run I think the concern for them this weekend though is injuries Chadley looks like he's out for uh, six weeks maybe up to two months with this, the latest injury he's picked up so that's a big blow for them looks like Clinton and G is going to come in for me I think he's looked pretty bright so far he's shown signs that he can be an exciting player quite skillful player perhaps he might not be consistent enough to be a regular starter a bit, a bit hit and miss like some of those players can be but he's shown enough signs to be exciting Son started his Tottenham career really well he's been injured lately I think this weekend might be a bit too soon for him, but if they, when they get him back, that'll be a real big plus because he, he sh uh, started sharing the goal-scoring burden a bit when with a few goals before he got injured. The big concern for against Liverpool was in midfield because they had Bentaleb, Mason, Dyer all out. They brought in Ali and they brought in Dembele to sit in, in defensive midfield and both of them played well. You'd have to say when they come back, Dyer he's been performing really well in that position. He'd probably be first choice and then one of Bentaleb and Mason, but... Ali's been performing really well in that position lately and they've got a lot of players who can fill in there. They've got a very versatile midfield and that'll be a big plus for Pochettino, particularly as the three behind the striker. They've got a lot of a lot of options there as well with the likes of Ericsson, Lamella, Chadley, Ng and so on. Mm, definitely and I think Spurs are going to this match starting as favourites against a Bournemouth team who are struggling a bit at the moment, down 17th and they could drop into the bottom three this weekend if results conspire against them. Last time out they go to Man City, always going to be a really tough game going to City there and you know, City before the international break, they put six past Newcastle, five past Bournemouth they got, and that was with a grout, without Aguero as well. You know, Bonnie came in, he scored two, Sterling with three in that game. Bournemouth, you know, they got it back to 2-1 at one point with that Glenn Murray, uh, it was a deflected shot that Joe Hart couldn't really do much about, but that was their only shot on target in the whole game, so they never really looked like pushing City at all there. Real, real struggle for them at the moment, you know. They started the season, OK, they had some really good performances here and there, but the way it's been going recently for Bournemouth, it looks like, a relegation scrap is going to be on the cards all season long this year and you know little to dispel any sort of thoughts about that happening recently because the results simply haven't been good enough uh, yeah the key form the key thing for them if they are to stay up I think is going to be home form as it often is with newly promoted sides and in fairness they've shown decent signs they've um, they've only lost one in four and beaten in the last three and that that defeat and was on the op opening day of the season against Aston Villa so haven't lost at home since then the injury list they've got, you have to say, has been so harsh on them. They're not just a long injury loss, not just a full treatment room, but key players as well. All players who would probably make Eddie Howe starting eleven, And to lose all of those players, obviously, is not going to do any good for you. They need, they need really to come together and show a lot of fighting spirit. These, the players behind them in the pecking order need to stand up and be counted because Bournemouth are going to rely on them. 
almost a second choice, uh, half a second choice first team for a lot of the season to keep them in the division. So they need that. Wilson's spoken about defying the doctor's predictions and getting back before the season, but realistically, April is probably the very earliest you can expect them back, by which time Bournemouth season might already be over if they carry on the way they're going. So it's, it's a tall order for them and home form, as I mentioned, is going to be key for them if they're going to change that. And if they can get anything out of this game, it'd be a bonus, but it should also give them a lift if they're capable of doing it. Yeah, absolutely will. And I think the one thing for Bournemouth, they, they want to get Harry Arter back as soon as possible. He's been sort of a doubt, like on the periphery of coming back to the team for the last couple of weeks, but they need him back as soon as possible. If he does, it'd be a huge boost, but it's still a big ask for Bournemouth in this one. What's your prediction? I wouldn't be too surprised if Bournemouth got something out of the game, but I think Tottenham are in decent form, so I'm going to back them to win 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah, I think Spurs might win by a single goal as well, but I, I think they might keep another clean sheet in this one. I'm going to go for a 1-0 win for Spurs. So both picking Spurs to edge this one. Thanks for joining us.